Okay, tell me what happened at school today. We just we each was a little kid. What happened, Luke? We little bully to a kid. Say it louder. I can't hear you. We just being a bully to a little kid. And why? Why? Because you have both of us. Because there's two of you, and you think you're tough because you have help? So you want to go pick on people for no reason? Hmm? For no reason, right? He didn't do anything to you, right? What's his name? Daniel. What grade is he in? First grade. Like you? Is he in your class? Who's his teacher? Daniel. Well, tomorrow morning, guess what? Guess what? what? I'm going to go to that school. And I'm going to find out whose class he's in. And both of you are going to go say sorry. In front of the whole class. You thought you were cute embarrassing him and being mean to him for no reason? Do I allow bullies in this house? Do you think that's okay? To be mean for no reason? You're going to tell him sorry. And what are you about to do right now? You're about to go to bed. It's 6 p.m. You're going to bed early. You already ate dinner. Tomorrow morning, you're going to go to school, and I'm going to go with you. We're going to find that boy, and you're going to say sorry, both of you. Look at me when I'm talking to you, Luke. Both of you are going to say sorry, and I do not ever, ever want to hear that you're being a bully again. Do you understand? You knew I would not be okay with that, right? You knew when you got in that car that you were in trouble. And guess what? Tomorrow's the parade, and you're not going. Y'all are not going. I'm going to take Brooklyn, and you can go sit at Grandma's house and not watch TV or anything. Do not ever, ever be bullies again. Say sorry, sorry. to Joshua. Say sorry. Put your hands down. You're not going to do it again. I can't hear you. Good night.